you know, I try not to let the, the criticism usually affect me because I don't play basketball for them. Oh, period. Period. In order for us to continue to get better, you have to be able to take both, mm. the positive and the negative. So I feel like if I have haters, that means I'm doing something right. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Ari Chambers here live with Team USA. And next to me is one of the most decorated basketball players ever, Brianna Stewart. What are some of the best things that have come from basketball? Some of the best things that have come from basketball? Uh, my wife. My wife, I knew it! I know. My wife, that had to be the, the number one <laughs> one because uh, we met playing basketball overseas. Just the, the experiences, the places that I've been able to go. Uh, my grandparents, they've come to World Cups before and, and hopefully they'll be able to come to, you know, Paris for the Olympics and making sure that, you know, it's not just me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's my entire circle kind of feeling this journey. We're entering this motherhood era. What's that been like? I see your kids, they're so perfect. It just gives you a different perspective, you know, like all the experiences that you see with USA Basketball and everything else to travel the world. Now my kids are going to be able to be a part of that. And it's crazy to say kids mm -hmm. um, because it's plural. I come at you fast. I know. You know, I want to be my best, obviously, for myself, but now for them. As you have both kids that you're raising now and they're like, mommy, I want to play sports. Yeah. What would you say to them? I would say yes. Mm. If they want to play sports, I want to get behind them 100%. Whatever they want to do, I want to help them be great at that. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be basketball, even though Ruby you know, is picking up the basketball all the time. I think sports is a great outlet for kids, even if they pursue it after you know, high school or not. I just wanted to let you know, as we talk about your accolades, woman to woman, I'm so proud of you. It's been so dope witnessing you get better, which is kind of weird because like, how do you keep getting better? I think I keep getting better by understanding that no matter what, no matter how great the year before has been or how great I have been, there's always, you know, another level. And understanding that, you know, being a versatile player, you have this like limitless potential and making sure that I do whatever I can throughout my career. Whenever you're so great at something, there comes a weight and criticism, and I'm sure you see a lot of it. How do you repel that to stay focused, and does it ever affect you? You know, I try not to let the, the criticism usually affect me because I don't play basketball for them. Oh, period. Period. And I think that, especially in the world of women's basketball, in order for us to continue to get better, you have to be able to take both, mm. the positive and the negative. That's the way that the sports go. So I feel like if I have haters, that means I'm doing something right. So let's pave the way to Paris 2024. The building blocks on the way to get you there, to hopefully another gold, to the dynasty that is USA Basketball. What are those building blocks consisting of? What are you placing your energy into? And how do you keep going forward with it? I think I'm placing my energy into the fact that this will be my third Olympics, hopefully. Um, you know, one when I was really young, one where I was kind of, you know, still sh shown the ropes from Sue and Dee, and now understanding that being one of those leaders in this group and wanting to make sure that hopefully my streak will be as long as theirs one day. And, you know, as you know, the goal is always gold. As a woman, we're taught to be humble, but I don't necessarily think that that needs to happen, especially when you're as great as you are. So what would you say to women out there who are struggling with owning their greatness? Mm -hmm. I think be confident, mm -hmm. you know, be unapologetic. Make sure that you live your life for you and don't let anybody tear you down because we're all great in our own way mm -hmm. and just continue to keep doing that. We're all great, be confident, gold is the goal, and we out.